Hello and welcome to Cloud Fox. We are starting our journey from here. And yes, the very first topic is about cloud. Here we are going to discuss what is cloud using very basic concept. So let's understand this. Let's take an example of Zomato. Because you know we are always ordering food using this kind of app. Now, if you look at closely, you will understand that the whole Zomato business is totally depend on their application. Suppose if I want to order food, what I will do? I will go open my mobile, then I will open Zomato app and then I will order this food. Suppose if there will be a problem in this app, Zomato business will be down. They are not going to receive any order. So, the business of Zomato is totally depend on this application. If this application is running, they are having business. If application is down, they are going to lose their business. And let me tell you, now onwards, all the businesses will be based on this kind of app. Like we have Amazon, Ola, Ola Uber, so all the businesses in 21st century will be based on application. Now, to run this application, the first step is you have to develop this application, right? And software guys will develop this. But once you develop this kind of application, the biggest challenge we have is how we can run this application. Because millions of users are using this kind of application. Zomato having 80 million users. And suppose if we count like 40 million users are using this application. So running this kind of application is actually challenging task. And to run these applications, company must have compute environment to store the data in an organized manner. They have database environment, then storage and networking. So this kind of IT resources they must have and the idea is if you have more number of users you have to increase this capacity for example if i'm saying that i have 100 users 100 users are going to use my application the capacity of server can be normal capacity the database size can be normal now if i'm saying that okay i have 10000 users then I have to increase this capacity. Why? Because whole concept of this kind of structure is centralized management. So for example, what is actually happening over here? For example, Zomato app is loaded over here in this particular computer. We call it server. Right? And users are going to use this application from their laptop, from their desktop, from their mobile phone, or even from the tablets. So we are using application from this various device, but application hosted over here in this server. And the capacity of this server is actually providing us user experience. Suppose if capacity is not good, you will not able to order your Zomato food even faster, right? It will be slowed down. Now, sometime if you have big applications, in this case, one particular server cannot able to fulfill requirements. For example, Amazon having 256 million visitors every month. In this case, one server cannot able to handle all this request. So, company are having multiple servers right we call it cluster so here they have group of servers and then these servers are actually fulfilling your request now sometimes they have group of clusters and they need to build the whole infrastructure we call it data center right so still now what we understood, till now what we understood, we understood that okay, 
each and every business will have application to run this application they need to have infrastructure and when they are having their own infrastructure they call it on premises infrastructure or on premises data center now if you want to set up your data center it is actually huge task you must have lots of money because if you are going to set up a very small data center it costs you almost 1 crore to 2 crore the problem is you have to invest money you have to invest for main power and then you can deploy your application over there so you have to spend time for this as well to solve this problem we got a concept of cloud computing in the concept of cloud computing we have cloud service providers for example aws is cloud service provider azure is cloud service provider google cloud platform gcp is cloud service provider what they are doing they are actually providing all this infrastructure like servers database networking storage we just need to use this whole resources from the data center of this cloud service provider and we will pay them whatever the resources that we will use so the good news is suppose if you have any application and you want to run this application you do not need to build huge data centers you do not need to spend lots of money up front you can run your your application directly from the data center of this cloud service provider and this cloud service provider will provide you services using triple a formula what is a triple a you can access your resources any time you can access your resources from any van and you can access your resources from any device so what is happening nowadays as we know that you know this is a era of startup and all the startups having their applications so they are not going to develop their own data centers they are actually using cloud service providers and they are hosting their application over there and they can start their operations as soon as possible because we have ready to use infrastructure of cloud service provider now i explain you the whole concept of cloud but when you will be in the interview if someone is asking you like okay what is cloud computing it will be very hard for you to explain this kind of concept so we have one easy definition over here what is the definition of the cloud computing on demand on demand means any time any device anywhere delivery of it resources it resources means these are it resources to run any to run your application whatever you needed we call it it resources on demand delivery of it resources over the internet because you have to run your application on the infrastructure of service provider so you are using this resources over the internet evit this is a big one pay as you go pricing you do not need to develop huge infrastructure whatever you want to use use your resources from the cloud service provider and pay them according to your resource usage so this is like a very basic concept of cloud computing we are going to understand whole concept deeply but not in this video in the next video we will discuss more about it thank you very much see you in the next video have a nice day goodbye